Right guys, just finished 96 metres of ranch style fencing around the new build property. If you want to see how I've done it and follow me on the journey, uh, please watch on. Right, it's a quick overview of the site, as I said, post marker way down there, up to this one here, down to that one there, and there's one away in behind the house there. Uh, the first thing to do is obviously mark the, the boundary. So what I've done, this is the far corner post that's cemented in place. I've got the owner to confirm the boundary with this post that's up in the corner. What we've done is strung a line, strung a line between the two, and I've just marked 1.8 centers for all the posts that are going to go in here and we've obviously got this corner to that corner away up there so again we'll do the same again string a line mark all the posts get the posts in uh, i've got another post down the other end of here which i'll cut to just now yeah so we've got this corner here and again if you can see a way down there i've got another corner a post cemented in down there so we're going to run all that Again, string a line. I don't know if you can see the marks there where the posts will go. And that's that. So that's the first first mission. Now it's to drill all the holes uh, using the, the still auger. Right, it's about 16 holes dug in 10 minutes. That's the beauty of this, uh, the, the still auger. It's great. I just use it to get the worst of the material out. So. Here's a typical hole. So I'll still go back with the, the hand digger, you know, and sort of widen the hole a little bit, and dig it out of the bottom. Right, guys, I've nearly got all the posts in now. I'll just give you a quick overview of the site. We've got one more post to go in here. Uh, so just to give you a brief overview of this job, uh, what we'll be doing in this section is putting a, taking this up to two metres, just creating a, a fence here. So you'll still see that wall there. That wall there, but this will be fenced off, just to give a bit of privacy. There's a new house going in here, and another new house going over the back. So I just want to sort of screen along here. So what I'll do is take that right along here, straight into the bank and then angle it up right along the back there. Just following the gradient of the land. So if you can see that right across, up at an angle, up at another angle and then down at this angle. this corner here <clears throat> and then the fence will run right down this hill right down in that bottom corner so here's this run of fence down here let's hope we can see it now I think there's a bit Probably about 60 fence posts in total, which I've pretty much spent the last two days putting in. Um, I mean, the postal auger is really quick, but it still takes a bit of time setting the posts, concreting them in, getting them aligned correctly, things like that. So that's the overview. One more post to go in there. I think there's another one to go in at the end. So first job today, get that post in. 
absolutely freezing here today. Right guys, that's the last post then. So what I'm doing now, I need to lay the first board along here. Obviously this wall's not level at all. So what I want to do is get the first board in totally level where I want it. And I'm using the laser level just to help me get a starting point. So all I'm doing is using my laser in there and I can pivot, pivot the laser to shoot the line, you know, right along the full run of this fence. Um, that just gives me a, you know, a line to work off to get the first board in. Obviously, once you've got the first board in, got it level, you can just use spacers then, it's, it's easy. Right guys, I'm just in the process of laying the boards now. So I've got the first one down, and I'm just laying another, you know, couple on top. There's going to be five boards in total along here. Uh, so obviously I've done the, the first board, I took my time doing that one now, we're just using spacers. And this is the spacers I use. A little trick I do here is, this is just a homemade 100mm spacer, but if you can see I've put a couple of screws through to so the spikes are protruding. What that does, because I'm working alone, yeah, just lay that on top of the board and push it, you know, and that holds it into the post. And I've got one there as well, so I'll just lay the next board on top. That's pretty much what I'm doing. So I'll lay the next board on the top. Just fix it in place. Uh, I cut them just in the centre of the post there, so it'll be slightly over length. And then I'll use my mini circular saw just to to cut them right up the middle. I'll show you how I do that now. Right, so I've got the board fixed in place. Just mark it halfway between the post. Roughly, use my space art. Just mark a line down there. Just use my mini circular saw. I've set the depth so it's just barely cuts this in no more. Get in position. That's it cut. Get the next board in there and just so on. We'll do that all the way along. Right, a little bit of progress, we're nearly there. So that's that, this whole side done. Apologies for the sun. So we've pretty much done all the way around the back, around the other side, around the back, right down here. And the last bit to do here is, this bank takes a fairly steep drop here, so I'm gonna angle the boards down, just to make it look a bit neater. Obviously if I took them straight across, it'd be a great big gap at the bottom, which I don't want to do. So all I'm doing is I've, I've roughly measured the angle, cut the cut the angle on the end of these boards, and then I can just match the square edge of the board in at that angle. Take it down. Should look a little bit neater. Right, I'm just about to nip off the top of the fence post now. I must run a fence. Uh, what I use for that is the Dewalt cordless chainsaw. I always use battery chainsaws, so I can't be bothered faffing about with the you know the petrol ones. Yeah, so these are just a lot more convenient. Um, I've only had this one a few months, so this is the bigger 54 volt version. So it's great, it just clips right through the the fence post. It's primarily what I use that for. Um, old one's been relegated to you know cutting fence roots, uh, tree roots, you know branches, things like that. Just anything that requires a bit of you know rough work. I like to use that one. It's really handy. It's a great wee thing that. Yeah, but this is this is the main one for cutting the, the big post. I'll just show you that now.
Right, so that's all the post cut. You can see the lining them down there. So everyone now will treat, will treat the top of the post. As I've said many times before, when you cut a fence post, it exposes bare wood. If you can see the pressure treatment there, you can see how it goes in. Maybe about five millimetres all the way around. But after that point there, this is untreated bare wood, so you need to treat it. So, I've got about 60 of these to treat all the way around. Alright guys, here's the finished fence. This is the right hand side of the property. It's a bit we've sloped it down. I'll just walk you around the, the job. So it's the right hand side of the property. This is right along the back. And we've got this slope here. <coughs> this may look a bit silly just now, but the owner did say they're going to put, there's more blocking to go in here. So it'll probably come around about there. So this is the best solution I can come up with. Just to angle it down. So you see that from there. So this is an angle, this is an angle, this is another angle, and another angle. So a lot of angles here. And then we've run that right along that wall. And I'm pretty sure the owner's not here at the moment, he's away. Uh, but there's going to be, as I've said, another house in the back of there. Typical I'm trying to film is lashing rain. Typical Scotland. Uh, but as I was saying, there's new, two new houses going in there, so I'm pretty sure he's going to want to double board this fence. But I've built it to specification what he wanted at the moment. So, but I'm pretty sure I'll be back to double board this to give full privacy. Um, he does want me back to do the fences for other houses, so that's good. So I can do that. I can do this at any time. So we'll just have a walk down here. <clears throat> At the end here, I've just had to transition it down to roughly a metre. Um, I mean, this is just a country lane here, but it's just for, you know, cars getting out of the driveway. It's easier to see. Again, there's more... Uh, um, these blocks here. Are going to be going in here and here and here. So this all this will be blocked off. So it'll look pretty much the same as that. So let's give it a quick, quick overview. And this fence, I've just run it in line with the, the gradient in the land. Walking up this corner now, and there's the run down there. There's the house fence.
guys well thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video uh, i do have another one here uh, i've got a couple of fencing videos actually i'll put one there and one there if you're interested uh, any md new here please subscribe to my channel by clicking down there or there i'm not sure uh, and please be hugely appreciated if you can give a thumbs up to this video that would be fantastic all right cheers guys thank you bye